Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. No time for puns today because it's the most important time of the day. It's mail time! Oh, but before we get to mail time, uh, last time we, you know, found out that the King of Red Lions was the King of Hyrule, that Princess Zelda was Tetra all along, it was her, Austin, it was her the entire time, everybody bought it, even her immediate pirate friends bought it, and... What else happened? Oh, we got the fire and ice arrows from the fairy queen who was hitting on Link. Yeah, I, I think that's breaking like all kinds of like, you know, statutory laws. I mean, she's at least a couple centuries old and Link is like 11, 12, 13, 10? I don't know, whatever. Anyway, mail. Good morning, mailbox. Letters for Link. We have one letter. Here's your old letter. The person been sent cash on delivery. Postage due is 201 rupees. <laughs> yes. My rupees. To the esteemed Mr. Fairy Person, thank you very much for your purchase and closes an incredible chart. This chart will show you where you can find the Triforce charts and Triforce shards. I want you to use it to find lots of them and they are my favorite kinds of items. And also, sir, you've been checking your Tingle chart and have you seen those giant fairy marks? Follow the chart to them and your fortune will increase greatly. Tingle. I was, I did not know you get the incredible chart that early. Um, okay. But we can't even do that until we've beaten the two temples, but whatever. Hey, remember this guy? He used to be rich. Let's talk to him. Who might you be? Why do I get the strange feeling that we've met before? Ah, oh, it's you. The little boy who promises big promises and then fails to deliver on them. <laughs> Too bad you couldn't save my daughter. But I did save your daughter. Of not everyone in this world fails to deliver. As it turns out, my dear Mila was saved by a group of kind pirates. Pirates had a leader, Tetra, I believe she said her name was. I am, was most grateful. She did demand a rather hefty reward, though. Thanks to them, my fortune has vanished. We've hit rock bottom. But my little Mila is alive and home safe where she belongs, so I can't complain. A daughter is more important than money. Okay, well, at least you know what's important now, but still. Screw you! Yeah! If my sword wasn't phasing through, you totally would have been dead. Alright. There's still some more stuff we can do. What lack of a better term here? There's Mila, nobody cares about her. And there's this guy just gazing out into the nothingness. I don't really care about him. Um, where is it that I can go? Is it up here? Yes, it is here. I'm acting kind of slow. All right, so. I mean, if he became rich, what happened? I mean, well, if he became poor, what happened to the rich guy? Okay, screw it. I'm screwing up my words. Where? Yeah, here he is. How did I pass by you, good sir? Remember him? He used to be broke. Just some wretched street urchin, I thought you were the postman. Be thankful, because if you were the postman, I would have shooed you out here before you could say boo. But say, you look rather familiar for a street urchin. Have we perhaps met before someplace? You asshole. What, whatever you mean, you don't mean my daughter, do you? Because my daughter has already been rescued from the Forsaken Fortress. Why, she even returned with a huge load of lovely, gl glittering, delicious treasure thanks to her little incident, and we've become filthy rich overnight, and I mean filthy. Why, there isn't a girl in the world who's as good a child as my Maggie. I hate you. You may not be, be able to help me, but there's no harm done. I'm sure you'll accomplish something in life someday. And meanwhile, my daughter has blossomed to quite the little beauty. Run along, go spend some time with her. Yeah, your daughter is still ugly, and so are you, and screw you! I'm saving the world, you're over here. I'm, I'm about to break some of your damn pots, sir. I, I, I really am. Screw you. Also, this is this ugly little girl right here. I have no idea return to town to think I would be able to live in a beautiful, opulent house like a dream come true. But no, no, it's a nightmare without him by my side. It's like a rainstorm rages in my heart. He's so kind of me in the Forsaken Fortress, that sweet boy who gave me all these expensive necklaces when I fled from that cursed island. And by sweet boy, she means a moblin. Just hearing his name lifts my spirits. Mo, the wonderful moblin from the Forsaken Fortress. Yeah. I'm always writing heartfelt letters filled with overflowing emotions. But why don't you answer me, Mo? Because your father is stopping the postman from coming here to deliver mail. Terribly bad, I'm t already drifting into my own dream world. 
By the way, I have a request for you. Could you take the letter I just finished inking and deliver it to the post box for me? Please, I beg of you. Yeah, whatever. Such a dear, you made Maggie so happy. Yeah, whatever. You got Maggie's letter. It's a letter from Maggie to her sweetie. Keep it in your delivery bag until you find a post box to drop it in. Post box, don't you dare forget, but you must promise not to read it. The secrets of a girl's heart are to be shared only when she so desires. Can you read it without? Uh, the, 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 the consequence? Whatever, I'm gonna break this. I don't care. Ah, he doesn't even do anything. Unlike the prior rich guy, he, he would make you pay. Yeah. So, um, first and foremost, I'm going to save. And then I'm going to try to read this letter. Ah, I can't read it. Okay. The only reason I saved was because, like, you know, in Skyward Sword, when you try to read the love letter that the mysterious toilet hand gives you, it kills you. Okay, the post box near Dragon Roost Island. Postage is only five rupees. Why do I gotta pay the... Yeah. It said by Larry, thank you for using the island postal service. We appreciate your business. Okay. So, there's some other junk I can do in here. And by in here, I mean on this island. So, let's see. Uh, I want to do, like, just... You know some stuff so that when I'm systematically going through the entire um, Great Sea I won't have to like repeat certain things or spend too much time on this island because there's a lot of stuff to be done here also this is a mini game this is Salvatore he is awesome we have 10 rupees per game for kids yeah we'll play I love this so much. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the Z Fleet. I'm Z Great Admiral Dolvalski. Look sharp for V and our Z Soul Protectors of this island. Admiral, red alert. All hands on deck. He does the sound effects himself. It's so awesome. Sonar shows the schools of deadly giant squid are approaching. All ships prepare for battle. <laughs> he is just so into this. There are three squid groups. A large one, a medium one, and a small one. If V allows them to come any closer, Z children on Z Island will be in grave danger. Sailor, take command of our new radar system to seek out and sink all these fiendishly hidden enemies. But be warned, you have only 24 cannonballs that you can fire. To, to, to destroy, to, oh my god, to destroy Z marauding squid pods, you must score four direct hits on Z large, three on Z medium, on two on Z small. Use that to move the cards, all right. Is that clear, Sailor? Aye, aye, sir. And I like how you can say, like, what's going on? Excellent. So far, our best sailor has managed to destroy all of the giant squid using only 20 cannonballs. May you fight us bravely. I love this! So let's see. Oh yeah, and when you miss. I love that. Okay, really? Wow, alright. Can I get one? I am going to lose. Okay. Damn it. All right, we got the small squid. All right, all right, all right. Splish. 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 Oh, wow. Splish. Okay, I gotta be uh, doing this a little bit better. Splish. Really? Kaboom. Okay. Kaboom. Kaboom. So now the four squid. Uh. Splish. 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 Kaboom. Wow, I lost. Kaboom. Kaboom. Crap. Yeah, the enemies have retreated or something. Yeah, he's not even into it now. All right, let, let me try to beat this. Because I want what you win from this. Splish. 
I did it! Didn't break the record, but eh, whatever. So, our sailor, your deeds have successfully protected the peace on this fair island. VR is so very proud. The children on the island would like to thank you, sailor. <laughs> I love Salvatore so much. Please take this piece of heart as a sign of our gratitude. You are so great. Yeah, we got a piece of heart. Can I have more, more now than, yeah, fun we have by all. So thanks for playing all that, and I can't tell you how fun it's been for me, and uh, don't forget your umbrella or nothing on your way out the door. Bye, Salvatore. You're still awesome. All right, but there's something else we can do up here, I believe. Can I do it now? What's up with you? Wind power Ferris wheel, use the artist's wind's power, quite in the manner, favorable wind so it doesn't budge. The wind blew in the right direction, we just have to hit the power switch to get it moving. Looks like a southeasterly wind is blowing right now. Okay. I need to collect myself, I need to see... Oh wait, no, I can just... Okay. I can, I can probably wing it. I think you want east for this? I'm, I can't remember. Oh wait, I think he just told me we need a southeasterly wind. Okay, wait a minute. Trial and error then. I'll get it eventually. I'm an idiot. Okay, yeah, I had to get it blowing in the right direction and then hit the power switch out and back. He kept telling me that. But I was just being stupid. I forgot all about this. So is this the right direction for it? Apparently not. Okay, uh... Maybe east? Oh boy, more trial and error. Give me a moment here. I had to get it blowing north. I, oh, okay. The last one I would expect was the one it was. You should have rolled there, Link. Otherwise you wouldn't have gotten hurt there, Link. All right, whatever. That took longer than it had to. Like, seriously. That was so long. But now I can get up onto the Ferris wheel slash windmill. Oh boy. Ooh, okay. All right, let's get up here. Ah, shit, it has to be nighttime, doesn't it? I hope not. And whatever, if I get up here, I can always use the song of passing. Such a useful song to have. Uh, um, something is amiss here. Check that link. What are the flame and arrow when you re when you appear? The lighthouse signal shall return to light the seas at night. The seer J L Pacall. Is this supposed to be a pun on something? I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, but I was right. It had to be nighttime. And it's rotating. Okay, good. So. Ah, oh man, I'm gonna have to wait for another revolution. Crap basket. Alright, so we wait. For the right time. To shoot our fire arrows. Into the lighthouse thing. 
It's going to take a while to get back around. Also, I would not recommend, you know, using fire arrows when you're surrounded by a whole bunch of wooden structures. It doesn't seem like a smart idea. Just saying. Just saying. We're almost there. We're getting back. If I miss this, I will be a very sad panda. Because I'm going to have to wait again. All right. Damn it! No! 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 Not like this! Not like this! Oh my god. <laughs> this is going so well. Finally! Holy crap! That took forever! Oh my god, you have like a small margin of error. But whatever, we got that right there. I'm gonna go ahead and get that chest now. Oh man. Yay, you didn't even roll, Link. You, you didn't roll. You, you didn't roll. Good job, Link. You didn't roll. I'm just angry right now for no apparent reason. Okay, Mr. Random Person, uh, you're over here doing your random thing, and, you know, I, I respect that, but whatever, I got mail. Yay! I say I got mail. Yay. Good evening. Letters for Link, we have one letter. Here's your letter. Have you been, big brother? I'm here on the pirate ship writing you this letter. Isn't that neat? At first I was really scared, but there are... But, but they are all actually nice. For pirates, I mean. Mr. Gonzo is a really big guy, but ever since Miss Tetra left, he's been crying like a baby. It's kind of funny, but sort of sad, too. Nudge is a little strange, but nice, too. And as for Senza, his beard makes him look pretty mean, but he tells me really cool stories when he gets in the right mood. Zuko's kind of weird, and Mako is pretty quiet. Mako immediately gets mad whenever I try to take his glasses, so I do that a lot. As usual, Nico is always fooling around. He won't take anything serious. Actually, he seems sad not to have you around anymore. Were you guys good friends? I helped them all out with their chores, and they actually paid me a little for it. So I'm sending the money to you. Please use it, big brother. I'll loan you my telescope for a little longer, but you have to return to me eventually, okay? I'm doing fine here, so don't worry. I'll take care of myself, so you be sure to take good care of yourself. Good luck, Errol. Yay, 20 rupees. Woo! All right. You would think they would actually, you know, take her home. But no, no, they're they're just using her to do chores, I guess. Crap, I need to sail to that, don't I? Uh, I mean, not sail, but glide. Okay, nope, nope, wrong thing. All right. Let's go! Do not screw the- oh my god, my magic power. Ah. Okay, almost overshot. This is probably gonna be a treasure chart, I think. I think it's a treasure chart. Oh no, piece of heart, okay, cool. Wow, we're, we're just getting the pieces of hearts. Which is always good. We aren't getting the tingle bottles, though. Just too many bad experiences with them as of late. But now I should be able to do the auction for the thing I really want. She's just standing there minding her own business. 